damn you queen don't die okay the queen survives Hello guys and welcome to GD Vibe. This is General that and we are back with another Clash of Clans video. So first of all, I would be saying that this is not a clickbait. This is actual. So I will be showing you a process that you can farm dark elixirs really fast. So if you go to YouTube and if you search a video that of farming dark elixirs, so you'll find a video which come pops at top, and you will be thinking that. All the contents in this video might contain from that video but this is not the same exact video. This video is very different because you can farm up to 10,000 dark elixirs in just 8 minutes. So if you go down and if you find other videos every process will be similar but in this video the same process will not be shown again. So guys out there watching this video now or later must have been thinking that how can a person farm up to 10,000 dark elixirs just within 8 minutes. So you will be thinking also that to farm that much amount of dark elixir you need to attack around 4 to 5 times. Yes guys you are correct we are going to attack 4 to 5 times. So. Now I'll be showing you how you can queue up this army so you train two armies which is going to be divided into four armies. So first of all you train four healers then you train your wall breakers. You take 12 wall breakers and then you take around 40 archers or maybe you just divide it into 20, 20 archers, 20 barbarians then four healers again then no more wall breakers you can just fill it up with archers and barbarians now and then this is a complete army guys now so the 12 wall breakers you divide it into six you use six in one attack six in the other attack and you just fill it up with two minutes and you take Two raid spell, one poison, because poison helps to take out the clan castle troop, and it just slows down the enemy queen and enemy kings as well. So you use two raid spell for first attack, two for second attack, and this is your first army, which is divided into two armies from this healer, first army from this healer, and you divide your raid spell into two. So you trained up your two armies and the new facility that the Clash of Clans added is that you can train up one more army so you can train up the other army as well at, in that same way. That means that you have four armies so when you attack first of all you just fill it up with four more healers again so that you can attack five times. So guys, I will just go with this army and I will just show you how you can farm up to 10,000 dark elixirs within 8 minutes. So first of all, you need to find a base that has over 2,000 or 1,500 dark elixirs. And you would not be targeting bases that are too difficult to face because you are using half your army. That's why. So I think I can go for this base and this base would be easy for me and in this space has around 2200 dark elixirs so I would be going for this base. So I will be attacking from this side with my queen and place 4 healers and you need to be very careful you need to use only 20 barbarians and 20 archers so while you attack you think that 
you just took 20 archers and 20 barbarians that is how you can save your troops if you think that you have 40 you'll use like two more then you would be facing problem in your next couple of attacks so in this i successfully get inside the base and you can see that my queen went inside and the giants are coming out i'll just place my poison spell i'll just use some barbarians after that and i'll just use some arches too so i saved it up for the clan castle and now you know that your queen is going to target the dark elixir storage after taking out that coal mine and the expo and it is going going to target that dark elixir storage so that was a successful attack for us and you'll just place raid spell or anything just before ending the game if your queen is just in half health so that your queen is in full health for the second attack so our first attack is done we got around 2000 dark elixirs and we'll be going for our second attack and this is a perfect base and this would be pretty easy for us to get the dark elixir from so the dark elixir storage is nearly in the corner side not in the center so this will be successful because you know that you have level 15 queen and it is going to be easy for you guys and when the enemy archer queen just comes near your queen you just place your barbarians and archers just to distract and you might want to place your raid spell and you can use your queen sorry you, you can use your king if things go wrong so you can just say that this is going to be very easy for us there goes the distraction by the king and the king is not really important in this attack so guys you can see that we just got up to 4000 dark elixirs in this attack and there we just end it nearly 4000 so we find another base with around 2000 dark elixir so that is going to be added to our record so it is going to be around 6000 this is going to be our third attack so let's go for the attack so i will be starting up with my queen walk from this end and place healers i will be helping my queen take out just go inside the base with just cleaning up these sides with barbarians and archers and there it goes and i know that my queen will go to the center guys i forgot to take wall breakers because i used too many wall breakers in the last attack and i just didn't train up too many wall breakers in the second attack sorry the third attack so I just use the poison spell I think so this is going to turn out well because there is no heavy defense near our queen only the archer tower the wizard tower is not really dangerous for us so we are going to use our king as well in this attack and and if you think that if you are facing two difficult bases you might want to boost up your queen as well that would help you guys to attack five times or maybe six times if possible if you find easier bases in this attack the king is acting as a distraction and i'll be using rest of my archers and barbarians and i know that my queen is going to target that dark elixir storage and that is going to be the end of the third attack and we just steal everything from the dark elixir storage and maybe we just want to go for the town hall as well so okay we are going for the town hall because we need more dark elixirs luckily in this attack one healer survives and that mortar is not going to do much damage on our queen the healer is going to heal that and the town hall is down guys and we are going for i think hopefully our queen just targets like few 
okay the queen just doesn't go in that much and i'll be placing my rage spell and i'll be ending this battle in a while okay we get the first dark elixir drill and there goes the second dark elixir drill so we get the entire amount of dark elixir in this battle okay guys in for our fourth attack and we get a base with 2000 dark elixirs and we will be attacking this base so i would be placing this queen right over this elixir pump so this kind of bases are really easy to take dark elixirs from this is one of my favorite bases to just steal dark elixirs from because i know that i can easily get to the dark elixir every time it doesn't matter if i win or i lose i would get the dark elixir so in the middle of the last attack we got our star bonus which was around 800 from the crystal tree and our queen is about to die we place a raid spell right over there we would be saving those three wall breakers because i know that in between that king the air defense there is a tesla so when my queen sorry when the teslas are aiming at my queen so there it is i'll just place the wall breakers right there the wall breaker just didn't work out guys but still i would be getting the dark elixirs okay there goes the air defense no problem there goes the king and there goes the queen after the dark elixir storage guys and i'll just use her ability and there goes that's the end of the attack so guys we got around a lot of dark elixir right now and we even got our star bonus which was 800 so we won two attacks so we got the extra star bonus as well sorry the extra bonus from crystal 3 so we got around 8000 dark elixirs in just four attacks and i don't have enough time for the last attack guys because the video has been too long so it is a if we go for the fourth attack sorry the fifth attack it would be near to 9000 or 10000 so there it is guys you can farm up to 10000 dark elixirs right now and try it guys right now after watching this video please check out the other videos as well so in the next video i would be trying out this same attack with level one queen because my town hall eight has just moved to town hall nine so i can just show you more attacks with it and you can see a lot more attack has been done and i got around 10,000 dark elixirs in a day look at the next attack as well next video i would be trying out the same strategy with level one queen and then level two then level four then level five and then level six because my town hall eight just moved to town hall nine and i just got the queen so i will be trying out that so guys if you want that series to be out on youtube and if you want me to continue that series please at least leave 10 likes on this video and watch the other videos that i have on this channel so i mainly focus on clash of clans and clash troll videos and guys follow me on instagram i opened up a new instagram account because i did not have any social medias for the youtube platform but now i have it and you'll also find the link of a group in group me so the link is in the description so you just download group me and you just click that link you'll be in the group bye guys